Nigerian political landscape, one name that generates strong opinion is Bola Ahmed Tinobu, a former governor of Lagos State and national leader of the ruling party APC. Tinobu is widely regarded as one of the most influential politicians in the country. However, his political career has been marked by controversy, and many Nigerians harbor deep seated animosity towards him. In this documentary, we will explore the reasons why people hate Tinobu so much. Bola Ahmed Tinobu, the former governor of Lagos State and political heavyweight in Nigeria, is a controversial figure whose name elicits strong reactions from people across the country. Some see him as a visionary leader who transformed Lagos into a modern city. Others view him as a corrupt politician who enriches himself at the expense of the people. My standing out here is to talk to fellow Nigerians that I am profoundly humble that you have elected me to serve as the 16th president of our beloved country. In this video, we will explore the reasons behind the love and hate that Tinubu elicits and examine its role in Nigerian politics. We plan to have a private sector partnership, either BOT or BOO. Tinubu served as a governor of Lagos State from 1999 to 2007, during which time he implemented sweeping reforms that transformed Lagos into a modern city. His administration invested heavily in infrastructure, education, and health care, and he was credited with improving the quality of life for Lagosian. Many Lagosians still hold Nebu in high regards for his achievements as governor and credited him with laying the foundation of the city's continued growth. But we will follow to him with the first night to Jagaba. If anything they happen after you enter that election, after you say you define election or anything. Oh, you want to climb up, enter Pedra, Tinubu the help us. Because anything will really happen to us, if we are not start anything, we get governor, we get president. Before anybody go there, Tinubu must go there first. Now the thing will make anybody laugh, Tinubu for not side with that. However, Tinubu's political activities after leaving office have been the subject of much controversy. He has been accused of using his political influence to enrich himself and of being involved in corrupt practices. Tinubu has not only failed in this mission to tarnish the clean image of Atiku Awaka, but in the process, he has exposed his own atrocities as the real Mr. SPV. It is now in public space how Bola Tinubu reportedly used one of his many SPV companies soft alliance to steal a whooping one million u.s dollars belonging to lagos state furthermore nigerians are still awaiting the apc presidential candidate explanation for his conviction and criminal forfeiture of 460,000 u.s dollars in the criminal case of trafficking in narcotics in the united states of america the noble political enemy have accused him of wide range of illegal activities, including money laundry, tax evasions, and the embezzlement of public funds. Tinubu has denied these allegations and has defended his business activities as legitimate. Investment 
do it. I have an example of a Warren Buffett. And one of the richest men in, in, in the country, in, in America and in the world. He started from stock buying brokerages. I inherited great real estate. I turned the values around. I'm, I'm not denying my worth. I've not been, I, I was a, the most investigated governor in the opposition. He has argued that his success in business is due to his entrepreneurial skills and that he has always acted in the best interest of the people. I seek to become the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria because I know the way. My experience and the past performance assured that it will be through collective effort and national endeavor that we join hands. Despite the controversy surrounding him, Tinubu remains a powerful figure in Nigerian politics and is widely seen as a political presidential candidate in the 2023 election. Some see Tinubu as a charismatic leader who could bring much needed change to the country, while others view him as a symbol of everything that is wrong with Nigerian politics. Things didn't help as Bola Ahmed Tinubu was figured to be behind the mass shooting that happened on October 20th, 2022 at the Lekito Gate. Even though there is no proof pointing to Tinubu as the man who gave the order, his son running the advertisement billboards on that particular toll gate made the Nigerian youth suspect him of calling the military to quell the long protest against police brutality in Nigeria. Mm, majorly because of the answers incident that his name was actually mixed up with. So that's my major reason why I think people, yeah. Are you trying to track us now so that you can track us and come, come and kill us, like Abby? Always? Why are you people don't say anything? You are just being wicked. You are just being wicked. Are you happy about this? You are, we people are old. Let us have peace of mind. Give us a good government. That's what we want. Are we asking for too much? Don't you have children too? Are we asking for too much? Don't you have children too? What is all this? Your children, children will grow up and you'll be dead by then. And they will suffer for everything that you people are doing right now. Excuse me. You don't even read your social media. You don't need to understand. You don't even think about tomorrow, today. You don't even think about the lie. They feed you lies. They feed us lies. Is it not what we are seeing? Who ordered the soldiers to want? We are sure you have powers over this. We are sure you have powers. Don't we have the right to protest in this country? Why are we a citizen? Why are we suffering? Are we born to suffer? Why do you believe it is me who ordered the army to Because you are the one with the talks, as always. You are the one with the talks. You are the one who is always doing this. Following his journey, Bola Ahmed Tinubu has not had an easy journey to success. One huge scandal that keeps following him around despite his being a renowned politician is his alleged drug trafficking history. Although no concrete proof was brought up to try and back these allegations up, but the appearance of a document that shows an indictment which claims the president-elect had to forfeit $460,000 to the Federal Reserves of Chicago seems to give these bits of information wings that the Nigerian people are only willing to believe. But the president-elect has constantly refuted the claims of this. There are some news going around that he was a uh, former uh, cartel kind of stuff. I don't know how true that thing is to be honest. I've not really delved into the whole story itself. Tinubu was charged in the United States of America for narcotics or drug trafficking. Charged before the United States District Court, Northern District of Illinois, in a judgment docketed and dated October 5, 1993, the United States government compelled Tinubu to forfeit all sums in nine different accounts in First Heritage Bank, Citibank NA, and Citibank International.
Another scandal that stood out during this campaign was that he was not a native of Lagos State and that he is originally from Osho State and was not fit to rule Lagos, even though his time as governor has passed. The claim from the rumor is that he was abducted by a reputable businesswoman who liked him and showed him the ropes of success. Although the law of the land states that you can become an indigent of a state if you were born in the state or have naturalized by living and doing business in that state for 18 years. Most Nigerians ignore that fact and would love to stick to the cultural reasons for not belonging, even when it doesn't bother the traditional heads themselves. The people who knew him and love him will always have his back, indigent or not. You know, in this life, it's not everybody that will like you. You might not like him, but God, God might like him. He has been a governor before. He's coming for a president again. It's not the way you think about your God, think about Tinobu. Whatever your opinion of Bola Ahmed Tinobu, there is no denying that he is a controversial figure whose impact on Nigerian politics cannot be ignored. Some people hate to hear that Tinobu will be swearing in May 2023. Let's keep loving. It doesn't give anything. It kills. But love always wins. Thank you. Ha, 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 ha.